Hey everyone, it's me, Sherry. So for today's video, this is going to be all about brushes. Um, since I um, hauled some of BH Cosmetics brushes, there was a little bit of buzz asking questions about my brushes and stuff. So I decided to do a video about my whole brush collection. I'm going to talk about each different set that I have and talk about some of my favorites from the set. So this is actually going to be a pretty long video. So if you're not interested, you can skip to the next video that I have. Um, maybe I'll have starting points for each different brush set. So if you're interested in a particular brush set, I can list the starting points down below if you just want to skip to those ones. But um, I like to know what type of tools and I feel like I have a pretty decent sized collection that I kind of know which ones are good and which aren't so good. Hold on a second. Sorry about that, the phone was ringing. Also, if you can hear snoring, Cassie's over there and she's snoring pretty loud. So I figured I would go through each individual set of brushes and kind of tell you guys which ones I like, which ones I don't like, if I think they're worth the money, that type of thing. I'll try to make it as quick as possible. And like I said, I'll try to put each individual set. And then I have like brushes that I just bought individually, but I have like several like elf brushes and several, but I bought them individually and I'll talk about those at the end. So I'm gonna start out with my most expensive set, I guess, which is my Sigma set. Um, this is the Miss Bunny set. This isn't even the most like elaborate set that Sigma offers. Um, this was like $69 when I got it. I think it's like $89 or $99 now though. Um, so this was the really pretty colorful Miss Bunny set. He worked out it for me for Christmas one year. Um, I don't really have a bad thing to say about these brushes. However, um, Sigma got more expensive as it got hyped up. And I don't think I'm going to buy Sigma brushes anymore. Because I find that there's so many other brushes out there that are just as good. And they just don't have the Sigma name behind them. Not bashing Sigma. These brushes are great. Um... I've had no issue with shedding or anything from the brand um, and um, they wash good, they hold up good. I've had these for a few years now. Um, a few of my favorites from this line, there's face and brush or eye product brushes in here. Like I said, there's no shedding on them. They're very soft. Um, these ones are clean. This one's dirty. That's why I have them separated here. So, um, I like this pencil brush. I do like the, what's this one, the E40 blending brush for the eyes. Um, I do like the blush brush a lot, um, because it's good at getting colors on your cheeks where you want it. I do like the powder brush. This is like the perfect set for traveling. I don't really use these foundation brushes, so I could have went without this in the set. Um, I don't really use um, slanted eyeliner brushes either, so I don't usually get a lot of use out of that one. The flat shader brush is fine, and the powder brush is fine. So this is a decent set. Um, it was worth the $69. I was happy paying that price point for it, but I would never pay the $99 for it. The next set that I have to talk about is this set that I got from BH Cosmetics. Um, this is called, I'll try to link all of these sets down below too. I don't think the Sigma Miss Bunny ones are actually available. I think it's just called the travel sets now, but I'll try to link them all down below. Um, so this is like the Studded Couture set, I think is what it was called. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12 brushes I think in it. These ones are all dirty so I've been using these ones. These ones are clean. Um, let's talk about this. It came in this studded case first of all similar to the Sigma travel set so I guess this may be considered like um, their kind of version of the travel set. So let's talk about the brushes and which ones I like. Now first of all when I wash these they washed fine. No shedding, um, no issues with the washing of them, and uh, yeah. And they're in this pretty brush color with the gold ferrule, so that's really pretty. Um, the cats were in here up on my vanity, so I have cat here. I might have to wash all my brushes. Um, so anyway, that's what these look like. So let's go into details and talk about some of them. Now, some of them I didn't actually get a chance to use yet. Um... And I don't really know what I would use them for. Maybe you guys can comment down below and let me know what you guys think I should use them for. So the first one is this, like, buffer brush. And excuse it, it is dirty. Um, this one is okay. It's not my favorite type of flat top kabuki, but it gets the job done. So that's okay. Um, this is the, like, blender brush. And this is pretty good. Um, I use this for the crease because there's also a fluffier brush. Yes, right here. A fluffier, like they have two different sizes. So I use this one for blending stuff out and I use this one for putting color down in the crease. And I just mess them up after say, oh, I can tell which ones are dirty by looking at them, okay. This is like a, 
what would you call this it's like a powder brush but it's very dense i use this for bronzer i used it for my bronzer today so i'm liking that one um this is the angled blush brush and this one is a little denser than the sigma one but it does get the color on good i use this one today too as well so um i like those um this is i never use these brushes but what i've been using them for lately is getting powder and put setting my under eye concealer with them so they're working pretty good for that and then we have this like angled brush eyeshadow brush i like to put this to get sometimes i'll use it for highlight sometimes i'll use it to mark out my inner corner um these brushes are super soft as well i think i paid $15 for this set because it was on sale. BH Cosmetics always has sales, so if you're interested in their brushes, watch out for their sales. And then we have kind of like a type pencil brush. This one isn't as good as the Sigma one, I'll say that, but it does get the job done. You can get color down with this easy. This is just like a fluffy all over shadow brush. It gets the job done. It's probably not my favorite, but it is fluffy and it does get the job done. This is actually considered the concealer brush, which I don't use these type of brushes very often, so I don't get a lot of use out of these. I don't really get a lot of use, as I said, out of the angled liner brushes, but I mean, this is soft, and it seems like it would be workable for that, no problem. Um, and then this brush is kind of a weird brush. It's slanted like that, but it's thin, so I'm not, I haven't really used this brush. It's super soft, though, and I feel like I could like it would do a good job but I don't know particularly what to use this brush for it's not labeled I don't know what it's intended for <laughs> maybe you could do a precise um bronzer line with it or like a contour and do contour down your nose that might work but all in all I really enjoy um these brushes so I definitely would repurchase these type of brushes from um PH Cosmetics again I really like them this is just like I said a quick overview of all my brush sets so don't get too hung up on anything with them because they're not it's not going to be like full on review like these are the best I'm just kind of overviewing what I think of these brushes and if I think they're worth the money the next set of brushes that I have also came from BH Cosmetics and this is the sculpt and blend set it came in a packaging like this they were all individually wrapped so they just look like this so it came with five mini face brushes these aren't eye brushes but you could use them for eyes if you wanted to and they came with the five big face brushes so let's do a breakdown of these first of all when I washed these I don't know if you can tell or not I don't know if it's going to show up on camera but there was some if you can see that there was some shedding issues with these brushes so that was kind of a turn off but sometimes when you like when i always get brushes when i initially wash them i do get a little bit of shedding so as long as it doesn't do it again i'll be okay now some of these weren't used since i got them i only used a few of them and uh but i can tell you guys these are really decent brushes um i of course gave the flat top kabuki brush a try right off the get-go this is super dense it's smaller than some of the other flat top kabukis that i have but it really gets in there and gets it blended out so i'm really enjoying this brush so this was well worth it but again as you can see there's a little bit of issue with it now i don't know if it's just my set or if it's anything else but there there is a little bit of hair sticking up out of that one so when i wash it again hopefully it won't do that again um, we also got, you yeah, also got in that set like a kabuki that's like, um, what are these called? These do have names on the box. <laughs> it's like an angled blush brush you could use it for. An angled contour, that's what it's called. So you could use it for your contour, you could use it for your brush, blush. <laughs> Talking about blushes and brushes. This would be a pretty good brush. Um, it also came with this buffing brush, which I think would be really good. I never used that one yet. It also came with the angled um, flat top kabuki, which I don't know if I would... Well, I'm going to give it a try, though. But I really like the other one. It came with this type of brush, too. It's like a pointed dome kabuki type brush. 
Um, this would be good for like under eye concealer, I think, or like setting your under eye concealer. And then it just came with all the mini versions of them. I just dropped one too. So it came with all of the mini versions of the brushes. Now these ones didn't have any shedding issue on the little ones, but the bigger ones had. They actually didn't shed. I shouldn't even call it shedding, but I think that's what it's starting out to be. It's just they're, they're kind of pulled up. They're not as flat. They're not like in sync with the rest of the hairs on the brush. A few of them came loose, so we shall see when I put them to the test and then wash them again. But I mean, I these brushes usually sell for $20. I got them on sale for... What did I pay for these? $15, I think, or $18 which wasn't a bad deal and they just I if nothing else I got the flat top kabuki out of it which I really like but I can probably get used out of the other other, other ones so I mean I'll give you guys an update on it to see if they shed anymore um, but the quality feels really nice like I said it could be just my set too I'm not gonna diss them because I am using them um, but it's just annoying sometimes when brushes shed like some of these these more domed brushes, they didn't shed, but it's the flat top ones that kind of shed more. Um, and the little ones, like I said, didn't shed. So, um, would I repurchase them again? Maybe. Maybe I'd try just to repurchase a single one just to see if I get the same shedding issue before I bought a whole set of them. But I think I get a lot of use out of these ones anyway before they completely wear out. So, that's kind of how I feel about those ones. My next set of brushes came from Holt Look, and these are the crown brushes. I don't know what set it is exactly because they're always changing them, but there's probably still something similar to it. Uh, you could get them in pink or blue at the time. Um, I think I got these for $10, $12. They weren't expensive. Um, these aren't my favorite brushes, honestly. They're, they're just so, so, sort of for me. I know Crown Brush has some really great, amazing brushes, but I'll kind of go over the ones that I like and don't like. First off, this angled contour brush. I hate it. <laughs> right off the bat. If you can see that there, it's really, it's not dense. It's really flimsy. So it doesn't really do a great job of application for blush. Um, this hair little brush I sometimes use for highlight. It's kind of like, well you could use it for blush too if you wanted to or contour. But I, can't, I like it because it's just, it's not too dense and it's not too fluffy that I like to use it sometimes just to pop my highlight on my cheeks. And then the powder brush is fine. Powder brushes are powder brushes to me. Like this one gets the job done. It's not my favorite powder brush but it's not my least favorite either. And then for the little brushes. Um, I use this one a lot. As you can see, it's dirty there. I use this for um, my um, paint pot. I'll put that on my eyes with my paint pot. And then you have like your lip brush and your pencil brush, which isn't the best one. It's really stiff. Oh, the ferrule's coming loose on that one. So there's another strike. These did wash good though, but the ferrule's coming loose on that one. So that's not the greatest. Um... This is supposed to be a concealer brush, I believe. It's really stiff. It's not... Mm. Uh, this one might be the lip brush. No, that one's the lip brush. Um, this one's like a pencil or like a liner type brush. I'm not really sure. Or if it's supposed to be a small eyeshadow brush. Meh. This one's like a little tiny small eyeshadow brush and then your typical liner brush. Like I said, these brushes aren't the best. I don't think I would buy these crown brushes again, if even if they were on sale on Holt Look. I'm just not overly thrilled with those brushes. Um, but I will continue to use the ones that I have and get use out of them. This one is just literally garbage. You could probably just use this for powder all over your face because there's no way that's going to get a nice application of blush for you. Mm. No. Not not in love with those brushes. <laughs> my next set of brushes are my Sonia Kashuk brushes. These were the 15th anniversary edition brushes and there was 15 brushes in this set. I freaking love these brushes. I don't think I have a bad thing to say about any of these brushes. So it gave us a spoolie, which is dirty, but I used this <laughs> the other day. I messed up with my mask here and I used it to comb it back out, but a good spoolie is always good. Um, then we have like a little tiny it doesn't show what type of brushes they are just this little tiny pointed brush I sometimes use this to put like liner use shadow as liner on my upper lash line I like it for that that's what actually what I've been using it for um standard foundation brushes again I don't use these but 
they come in most brush sets but I it's it seems like a good one like if I was to use these type of brushes to put my foundation on it does seem like it would be a half decent one again these little angled liner brushes I don't really use them but this does seem like it's a decent one as well okay it has a little pencil brush I love my little pencil brushes so I definitely um, like that one I get a lot of use out of that okay then we have this weird looking brush I don't even know what you would call this brush it looks like this and then it looks like this you could use this to buff in foundation if you want it sometimes I use it to do contour or bronzer um, it's pretty dense I mostly that's what I mostly use it for is contour and I like it for that then we just have a flat concealer brush which I don't use typically but then we have a flat eyeshadow brush which is really good eyeshadow brush um, then we have one of these flat top curved kabukis which I use a couple times for contour but these type of brushes I don't really use that often the blush brush I love it's very perfect application with this br blush that might be one of my favorite blush brush other than the angle contours for blushing the powder brush is nice it's it's not too dense and it's not too fluffy. It just gets the job done. I really like that brush. Um, we also have a chisel brush with this set, which is good for your precise contour, which I use it for, which I really love. Oh, it looks like I got a little bit of shedding on this brush now too. Darn. But that's okay because I've had it for a while, a couple of years, and it just started shedding. So. Now these are probably my three favorite brushes out of this set. We have this fluffy brush I'll, and I use this for all over my lid and then this blending brush is a dream I love it and then we have this little dome brush that I use for my crease which I love so I really am enjoying the Sonia Kashuk brushes a lot and I would repurchase Sonia Kashuk brushes again if I did still have a target but unfortunately I don't but I can order them online so I really like these brushes and I love the purple color of them as well um but yeah I love these so the next are my Real Techniques brushes and I got these in a couple of different sets and then I got one individual brush so first off I got the eye set and I feel like oh, okay I was gonna say I feel like I'm missing a brush so these are the basic eye brushes that I got as a set for like $18 at Walmart so it has like a liner brush which I use as a lip brush <laughs> It has this dome brush which I like to use to push. I like this with my color pop shadows actually. I use this to put like the matte one in my crease sometimes. Then we have the all over like the shadow brush for all over your lid which I really like. These brushes are super soft. I find them just the softest sigma the for face brushes especially. Again these slanted eyeliner brushes I don't get much use out of. And then we have like this little precision brush which again sometimes I use to put like smudge eyeshadow out on my upper lash line. I have no complaints about these brushes. I don't use them as often as, like I have certain brushes that I use more than others that I will gravitate towards and maybe I'll talk about that at the end of this video or I will do a separate video on that. But I do use these, I rotate them in, but I don't grab for them as often as some of my other favorite eye brushes. And then for the face brushes, I got the orange set and then I also got this setting brush so I'll talk about this first I got this separately um, I ordered it on iHerb I got one for me and Kristen and this is perfect for under eye setting under eye concealer with powder love it this is like my favorite for that um, then I used to use this for foundation all the time this buffing brush these ones actually have the names on them I believe yeah this is the buffing brush and this is excellent for foundation however once I started using flat top kabukis and I went back to this I don't know if it was just the foundation I was using or if it was the brush I didn't find it did as good of a job so uh, I don't know about that um, and then again as I said these things I don't really use this is like a concealer brush but I use it for some eye things sometimes I don't always use it for concealer which so I usually put that in with my eye brushes and then this is the I think this is the contour brush yeah and this I really love this for it really it does fit right in there to get your contour on perfectly so I love that brush 
Okay, so I do have some Eco Tools brushes. I did have more, but I gave some of them away. I have this fluffy powder brush, which I love. I use it all the time. Um, it's perfect fluffy powder brush. It's actually dirty right now. And then I have this, um, what is this called? This is like their bronzer brush. I use it to buff stuff out when I kind of go overboard on bronzer and stuff. So I have that brush, which I love. Okay, and then I have some e.l.f. brushes and I've had many different elf brushes over the years this is what stood out in the collection and this is what either I didn't give away or didn't fall apart on me so the first one that I'm going to talk about is this blush brush which I don't use for blush I use it for highlight love it for highlight I actually used it for my highlight today and it's dirty okay and then the rest are all eye brushes so I have these I thought I had two of these I must have gave one away so I have this flat these are like the dollar brushes for like shader brushes and then I have the, what are these, this is the defining eye brush. Again it's curved so I sometimes use it for like my highlight or I'll use it to chisel out the outer V. I like these brushes, they work perfect and they're only a dollar each. And then I have these five brushes from the studio line. So I have the dome brush which I love for my crease. These brushes are $3 each and I've had them for probably five years and they still haven't failed me. The eyeshadow C brush. I don't think this is e.l.f. No, this is not e.l.f. Sorry. Um, and then I have the, because it's not labeled with the e.l.f. That's not e.l.f. Okay, so yeah, this was the eyeshadow C brush. Then I have the smudge brush, which is perfect for smudging stuff under your um, lower lash line. And the precision brush, which I like for eyeliner. Love these brushes. Um, if these ran out, um, not ran out, if these failed on me and fell apart, I would purchase new ones of those because I use every single one of them that get rotated in. So I guess now we're just into the kind of all the random brushes. And I believe I have an all-time favorite random brush, which I will talk about at the end. Okay, so this brush that I thought was e.l.f. is a Bella Beauty brush. And this, I used to use this all the time before I got like so many of my other brushes. I still use it, but it's perfect for all over the lid. It's also fluffy enough that you could blend stuff out in the crease with it. So I love that. And let's talk about some of my other eyeshadow brushes or eye brushes that are random. So I have this one from... Mirabella. It's an eye blending brush which I got from Ipsy. It works pretty good. It's not my favorite blending brush but it works really well. My favorite blending brush is from a, I think it's an affordable brand. It's called XOXO. I got this from Pink Sparkles. I won it in one of her giveaways and I love this blending brush. Like I love the Sonia Kashuk one too but this is one of the, other than the Sigma one, the the E40 blending brush. This is the only one that I had and I loved it because it's the only really fluffy one that I had. Um, so I use this faithfully. It washes really well. I've had that for a few years now. Um, just this random one. I don't even know what this is from. No idea what the brand is from. I got it from Walmart. It's just, I use this end more than this end, obviously. Um, Elizabeth Mott eyeshadow brush. Really love this one. Ooh, I was using this today. Fluff came off of it. <laughs> and then we got a couple of brushes from Urban Decay that just came with palettes. So, these, not the best brushes, but they get the job done. Then I have this brush from Crown Brush, which is a double-ended brush, which I got in one. I do, I know, I didn't include it with my crown brushes, but uh, it's not my favorite brush either, but it does have, like, the pencil brush on one end and then the fluffy on the other. It's okay, but it's not the best. And then this, I have no idea. I think this is a lip brush that I got in an Ipsy or birch box or something it's huge for lip brush I know it is a lip brush but I don't know what the brand is I forget I think it might be crown too I'm not sure um, but yeah I don't really use that one that much that's huge like that's my lips are small and that's huge okay and then two of the other brushes that I got are this one which I think is it's a stipple brush and I think it's spa source from Walmart I don't really use this brush anymore I'm not into this whole stipple thing and then this one is from Beauty Junkies and it's a flat top kabuki and I love this brush. This is my favorite fat, flat top kabuki. I hear it's comparable to the Sigma one. It's super soft, it's super dense, it's just perfect. 
And then I have two kabuki brushes. This one I don't really use. It's too flimsy. It doesn't really do anything. My mom got it for me. So I kind of just leave it on my vanity for show because it has that cute little flower on it. And then this one is from Bella Beauty, I think it's called. And I love this one. I use this one for powder all over my face a lot. Oh. So then we have our beauty sponges from my collection. So I have the Real Techniques and the Beauty Blender. I like both of them equally. I know you kind of have to work a little bit more with this one, but I love the flat top of this one for doing th certain things, and this gets right up inside too, just as well as this one. So I'm going to keep repurchasing this one. I won't repurchase this one over and over again, I don't think. Maybe sometimes is a treat, but if this gets the job done, why, broke what it why fix what isn't broken? Oh my god, I can't talk. This is a long video. And then I guess the only other tool I have to talk about is my eyelash curler. And this is just, I don't even know what the brand is. I got it in an Ipsy bag and it's cute and purple and that's that. So, that is kind of an overview of all my brushes and what I think of them. If you guys would like a video talking specifically about my favorite brushes that I gravitate towards the most out of all of my brushes, let me know down below and I'll do that for you guys.